तुम बहुत ज़्यादा ओटीटी देख रहे हो मेरे ख्याल से नॉन पारिवारिक मटेरियल ओ लॉट्स आई एम अ बिग मिस्टर बच्चन फैन इवन सनी रियोल जी और संजय दत्त कंफर्ट मूवी ब्रेकअप के बाद पहला चीज क्या है गोलमाल so i think uh, whatever you've seen in the entire cop vs series of films until now control udai acha i think i always say this it it takes the same amount of mehnat to make a film which doesn't work love you love you big kids koi fayda nahi shaadi ho gayi uski thank you yeah yeah that's what kiara also just told him many times Just reminding you guys. Wanted, I'll tell you what. I made singer because of wanted. Raudi Rathod. Raudi Rathod. जो मैं बोलता हूँ वो मैं करता हूँ. जो मैं नहीं कर नहीं बोलता हूँ वो मैं जरूर करता हूँ. What is it? So that is the thing in a house. Like, दो villain का दो hero का पर्दा फाश करने के लिए शेट्टी आता है. Since for twenty years he was doing that only. ये काली चरण नहीं है ये डॉन. The same scene. प्रभाव करनी है. So guys, the moment that you all have been waiting for is here. बट ऐसे नहीं पहले मेक सम नॉइस फॉर रोहित शेट्टी अगेन कितने सिद्धार्थ मल्होत्रा के फैन है यहां पर शिल्पा शेट्टी और थोड़ा आवाज विवेक उबेरॉय के लिए भी लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन बॉयज एंड गर्ल्स पुट योर हैंड्स टुगेदर फॉर रोहित शेट्टी सिद्धार्थ मल्होत्रा Shilpa Shetty and Vivek Oberoi the team of Indian Police Force So firstly welcome to the Pink Villa master class it's so good to have you all here thank you for doing this thank you thank you uh, Rohit sir my first question is to you why me <laughs> because you are the captain of the ship Sir, eleven years since Singam, the your first association with a cop film. You have made Singam, Singam again, Simba, Surya Vanshi, and now Indian Police Force. How challenging is it for you to bring a new dimension to cop genre every time you make a film or series? I think it's challenging to make a new film after your release for any director or any story for that matter. Uh, for me, obviously, it's uh, more challenging because how to tell the same story or with the same characters, how you move forward. It's a bit difficult, but I'm used to it now. But I'm sure there must be a lot of brainstorming that you would be doing with the writers, and ऐसा होगा कि ये इधर हम लोग ने कर दिया तो ये वापस repeat नहीं कर सकते. That uh, more than that, it's like how to take the uh, characters forward in the next film yeah. in the universe. You know, that's that becomes a task for us. And uh, Sid, you have been discussing with Rohit sir for a while now. Could you tell us what were your discussion with Rohit sir over the years, and how did Indian Police Force finally happen? I've always admired the way he presents his him, heroes. Uh, you know, they are they have a very uh, correct moral moral compass, and uh, it's just the way his shot taking happens. It's a nice mix of old film Hindi picture and then today's contemporary look. So we were always discussing, "Ki sir, you know, would love to do something, and we we should associate." Uh, and I think two years ago, then. You know, sir said, "Ki cop universe bana raho, but it's it's on OTT, it's on yeah. it's on Amazon." I said, "Okay, uh, it's it's so tempting when he makes this cop universe." And and I said, "I was very intrigued to hear it." And I heard the script. I think it had everything that uh, a long series. This is my first long format also. This is the first time I heard a script in in you know such a long vast uh, uh, structure. and i th- i thought it had everything in it that one needs to experience the thrill the mystery uh, the action of course uh, with his world coming in and uh, yeah it just became an obvious choice that uh, you know when he's directing he's behind the camera it it's uh, you know that there's a sense of quality that will come through um so yeah i said chalo let's let's do this uh, cop uniform for the first time on uh, amazon prime But sir, you know Rohit sir has a cop universe. You have your own uniform universe. You did Sher Shah, wherein you played an army officer. You did Mission Majnu, wherein you played a spy. Yeah. Now there is uh, Indian Police Force, where you are playing a cop. And then there is Yodha again, wherein you are, I think, playing an aviation officer. Correct. Sir. What draws you to real life characters or real life heroes? 
I find it really interesting. I think uh, you know when you play characters which you've seen or heard of in real life, and where they are doing something really heroic. um and something really thrilling mixed with a nice hindi film entertainment i i find that watch very interesting i like uh you know parts of geopolitics so i like things uh, or, or real life missions when i see documentaries and uh, not that any of these films are a version of that maybe shersha was one uh but it's a great mix when you like you've seen a police officer you know all of us have seen them maybe not interacted with them closely but once you see a show like this and you're like oh this is what they have to face in real life these are the challenges this is what their personal life may be like uh you know this is the extent of uh, extent of like you know duty or or dedication that it takes uh and with mr rohit shetty it also comes a lot of swag so it's also entertaining uh i i love it so i think i think that's the the, the hindi film audience in me makes me choose all these scripts and uh And yeah, I'm I'm pretty excited about my lineup coming in. Shilpa ma'am, you are technically the first female cop of Rohit sir's universe. How did you first react when he came to you with this character? Technically in any in any sense, I think I when we started um uh, Indian Police Force, we started around a year and a half back. so the onus was even more at the time because at that time he hadn't announced anyone else in his cop uh, verse um donning you know this avatar so when he first approached me i was like oh my god you know the first female cop in his cop cop verse i was ecstatic but i didn't think i was going to be able to play the part because i was in the midst of doing a lot at that time but what changed my mind was i finished with the call and i came into the room and I, my son was there and i was like you know what vian guess who called me because vian my son is a huge fan of rohit's and i said rohit shetty just told me that he has a part for me he jumped up like he did like a somersault on the bed and if i was literally thinking 60 40 because of the dates not that i didn't want to play the part it immediately became like 101% for me he was like mama i don't care how you have to do it and no i really mean this and uh, it was really that that made me realize what it you know what it means uh because he caters to that audience you know kids love his movies masses love his movies and if you're able to cater to that audience you you know you've you've hit a home run so that was one of the reasons that i wanted to play this part and then uspe to sone pe se so haga tha mere liye when i heard the character it was a uh, it was tara shetty so for the first time a shetty playing a shetty character in rohit shetty's film <laughs> yeah it it just all worked out and you know i really believe that you never choose a role it's always the role that chooses you basically it's shetty verse of madness <laughs> yeah um uh, wake sir you have played cops in the past how is it to be a rohit shetty cop i think uh, to be a part of uh, rohit bhai's uh, cop verse uh i think the most exciting thing that i look forward to right as soon as i knew i was doing the show i started imagining myself walking in slow motion <laughs> with background yeah <laughs> i mean who over here in the audience wouldn't want to be in a rohit shetty frame walking in slow motion come on yeah yeah i think it's the larger than life experience it's a funny combination it's a very difficult combination to crack but i think somehow he has the formula which what siddharth was saying earlier that you know the whole world of indian police force is real it's well researched um it's uh, very very detailed uh it's the protocols are structured the way things happen the the way events unfold everything is so detailed and well researched and that's why it took him years to write it and put it together it's not that it came up overnight but despite that there's a feeling of something that's larger than life despite that it's a combination of that very detailed very real ott experience with that low angle larger than life film experience 
and that to me was super exciting and then i've always loved him as a person i've always uh, uh shared values and principles um you know i've always seen him be the first person to put his hand up when uh, there's something good for society there's something positive um and i think that th those are the heroes in real life and those are the principles that he tries to bring onto his characters so then when he called me and he said that listen when i wrote this part uh you were the first person that came to my mind i wrote this part for you it was the biggest compliment i could ever get of course but uh avik you have been a part of multiple films in the ott space you know they have slightly bold content and now there comes a rohit shetty show which i believe is going to be parivarik how <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> I think I've done Inside Edge one, two, and three. Have you guys seen Inside Edge? So I've done Inside Edge one, two, and three, and uh, it was a it did really well, and we got a lot of love for it. But I can safely say that after whatever six years of doing OTT, it's the first time I can sit with my parents and my kids and watch the show. नहीं तो I used to duck out. I used to be like, नहीं नहीं आप लोग देख लो. Rohit sir, was it a conscious decision on your part to make it parivarik, like I said, because you know you have a big fan following in the families and kids, so and OTT पे तो parivarik बहुत कम देखने मिलता है। तुम बहुत ज़्यादा OTT देख रहे हो मेरे ख़्याल से। Non parivarik material। नहीं मैं जब देखता हूँ तो वो आँख बंद करनी पड़ती है कभी-कभी when I when I watch it with। I take it as a responsibility. I know that I have an, a set audience and that's uh, more of kids. and family audience so it's a responsibility uh, from my side and i don't I, i'm not saying what others are doing is wrong or something like that but i never feel that that's the need for, for my scripts or my films so i never get into that zone at all yeah that that reflects even the trailer it's so clean it's so good to see such content as well fresh air here sir thank you sir <laughs> but that is something incredible like i've seen uh, kids loving your films even my son who's 10 is crazy about your films he loves your films that's why you itne baithe hain yahan pe sab they must be kids when they they must have seen the first golmal now they are in college so how many of you are singham fans and how many of you golmal fans singham okay singham how many singham and how many golmal no way i would have never thought that as a कंफर्ट मूवी ब्रेकअप के बाद पहला चीज क्या गोलमाल मुंह छुपा रही बेचारी सेड यू हैव लाइक आई हैव टोल्ड दिस टू इन द पास्ट एज वेल यू हैव द बॉडी लैंग्वेज ऑफ एन एक्शन हीरो आई थिंक दिस इज द फर्स्ट टाइम यू आर डूइंग अ फुल फ्लेजेड प्रॉपर मारधार इतने बड़े स्केल पे आर यू लुकिंग टू टैप ऑन टू दिस जॉनर मोर एंड हैव पीपल टोल्ड यू और कॉम्प्लीमेंटेड यू दैट यू शुड डू मोर एक्शन uh no definitely i also personally like watching action films and uh, but this is the first time this tonality has come through because of uh filmmaker our director right here his vision um and i personally have always longed to do this as vivek was saying inka high speed shot has a different a swag to it a different body language to it he even he has a technique also to it how to uh, walk <laughs> and her foot his foot it's it's by the way it's not an accident the way his his high speed hero shots look it's all been uh, you know specifically planned and told by by the director to the actor as to foot movement kya hona chahiye body language kya hona chahiye uh, fist uh, ungli itni khuli nahi honi chahiye haath andar hone chahiye uh, <laughs> yeah yeah matlab okay, matlab everything should look uh, you know perfect and 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 it works because that is what i as an audience have always enjoyed on the big screen uh, ki jab wo background score bachta hai aur hero ki entry hoti hai it is something that we all grew up on and i think it's never gone out of fashion maybe we have lesser filmmakers who can do it yeah. uh so i thoroughly enjoyed uh, you know this process and when i see the final product i remember when i saw the teaser also it just be simple walking i got up and the editor and gave him a tight hug <laughs> my first thing was ki are sir wah maza aa gaya matlab you know i went and just hugged him and uh, and and oddly now i think inspired from that we have a similar scene in the in the show also with the senior and and junior kind of vibe um so yeah, i thoroughly enjoyed it i think this is the first mix of um class and mass i would say that comes through 
Um, action, of course, is there always in my lineup. Something yes that people or uh, even directors or producers have come up kiya action karte hain, which is great. I think it's it's something larger than life. It's something meant purely for the big screen. Um, though even here, it's it's packaged uh, in a big screen way, but coming on Amazon Prime. But today, everyone has a, or at least the big cities have a good, uh, you know, viewing television at home. So I think they'll get to experience uh, massive big screen on a Amazon Prime video. And who are the action heroes you grew up watching? Oh, lots. Yeah. I'm a big Mr. Bachchan fan. Um, even uh, Sunny Deol ji or uh, Sanjay Dutt. I think where they the, they were more raw in those times. I think the the taking or the styling um, possibly had better dialogues than us. Uh, uh, you know where the writing today or writers today in general uh, would shy away from writing. You know certain things or very few directors can pull off that tonality of writing. Um, so yeah, I think uh, uh, Bachchan Sahab and uh, and uh, Sunny Deol ji and Sanjay Dutt. Yeah. They are my favorites too, alongside, of course, many others. But yeah, uh, Shilpa, I'm 31 years in the in the industry. Yeah, you are bigger. 24 आ गया ना? ठीक है 30. 24 आ गया. पांच दिन हो गए. She was only four when she joined the industry. हाँ. अभी तो हम उम्र है. अभी तो निकली कॉलेज से यहाँ से. Which has been the best phase of the career according to you? I think, you know, uh, I've seen the highs, I've seen the lows and every phase comes with teaching you something. I think and believe that this is the best phase of my life as an actor. Um, I've learned so much. I've done diametrically different roles. I've had the courage to pick up roles. You know, I think the first 20 years of my career, just went in just working without really putting that much thought. You know, we came from the 90s. So we were told, uh, you know, I was working because I wanted to buy my first car. I wanted to move into a bigger house. Came from a middle class family. Uh, and for a 17 year old, when you start out, you know, those things, the perspective is very different. Today, you're, you're working because you want to, you know, not because you need to. And so then your choice in movies are different. So today I feel like when I look back, I feel so proud that I'm able to do a Sukhi and then kick ass with, <laughs> you know, this character yeah. in IPM. Rohit, so you make films which warrant a lot of conviction as a director. When, when, have there been instances where you have doubted yourself and if that has happened, who is the person with whom you discuss? Ke, I don't know if I don't know if I do this or Because everyone I have spoken to, say Rohit Shetty, matlab, his cinema is full of conviction. Uh, with my team, obviously, who's been working with me for so long and we have a policy in our office, like my, my ADs can come up and tell me like this is not working or any of my technicians for that matter I can come up and tell me yeah, this is not working and I it's not like I never it may look like okay, what I have written or what I am directing or what is my conviction is only my conviction it's not like that it's always there's a discussion which goes on and even if my junior of the AD says that it's not working we think about it and if he's right we go with his conviction so it's not always me uh, okay no no it's never like that so it's conviction of the whole team. And where do you get it from? Uh, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Just. Can we take credit? It's a shetty thing. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> no, but his whole team rehearses the scene before the actors come on board for a scene, especially the bigger scenes or to just to get the tonality if there are multiple actors. Uh, he will uh, rehearse with his ADs uh, in the actual set, with the actual props, uh, you know, placement and, and wherever actors are moving left to right and, and will shoot it and, and show it to the actors. So, I think that's where his process would start uh, of, of possibly feeling what is right, uh, what he wants to do. And it makes, uh, you know, the main actor's job much easier because we don't have to think of the other aspect and uh, that's how the whole shooting process was just following you know the captain of the ship's lead and you know this is what you're doing 
because he would know best what is the tonality before and after especially in a long format i mean for my experience this is my first time on a long format uh, you know set and it, it sometimes takes a long screen time to figure your emotion before and after and uh, i was just i think following his league and his his team <laughs> and everyone who have that uh, superb conviction you have a reference point basically so you mm. can go ahead with it yeah absolutely no it helps it helps um where you have done so many negative roles i think a crowd favorite will be maya bai in shoot out at lokanwala and then you are doing positive characters where you are playing cop which part is more challenging and which part is more exciting for you to be honest i think the more challenging part is the positive characters <laughs> the negative characters are are easier to play shilpa don't look at me like that not because i'm negative in real life <laughs> i'm just having fun uh no i think the negative characters are easier to play because whenever a filmmaker writes a villain they put a lot of effort into it because the villain is what sets up the conflict if there is no villain there is no conflict so they create that world they create that whole villain and then you just have to come in and find something different a different sort to play it with right so with my dollars or uh, with carl in krish that i played uh, i just have to find that right sort and take it to you know the the director's vision and that level and try and contribute something of my own but the positive character there aren't many um many larger than life things that you can play right up front so villain opens only big whereas a positive character always has a journey he always has to reach somewhere so i think that's more challenging how do you keep it interesting and entertaining during that journey and still keep not not give it away so it's as a writer and director what is more difficult for you to write hero or villain villain because i think if the villain for an action film for or for any film if the problem is not bigger yeah. the hero can't yeah. get bigger you know the problem has to be big and the problem is a villain whether it's a love story they can have a problem of their own villain comes with a character uh, so villain is the most important thing more than the hero i think yeah and said you know when when i posted about uh, doing this master class a lot of fans asked me to ask this to you they loved you in ek villain where you had shades of gray when can they see you playing slightly gray characters again um yeah i think but ek villain also had uh, at core had a good motivation even though it was a very aggressive character doing wrong things in his past but his present journey was because of a love story uh because of an emotional uh, reason so um yeah absolutely not that i i it was double my third film that was more challenging and more daunting then to to portray a more silent character and more brooding uh at present uh, of course it's not that i'm averse to it it's something that uh, i'm also possibly looking uh, so it's up to the writers and directors something interesting comes up of course why not um shilpa ma'am at this point of time what excites you and what motivates you and what keeps you going as an actor just work um i don't know to just be able to do something different you know i think uh, films are really cathartic there are many pent up emotions that you have in your real life and i feel it really gives you the opportunity to be able to you know sometimes you want to just cry and you know you're really frustrated and then you get a part where you can actually just go back <laughs> you know uh so it just gives you that release and um just to be able to create something that you can call your own and get paid for it and get famous because of it and get so much love and adulation i think it's the best job in the world this is what motivates me and that's what makes me go to work and want me to put my best foot forward sometimes breaking it also yeah i love you shilpa ma'am i love you too thank you guys thank you Rohit sir, you know every actor in the Hindi film industry has a dream of working with you, and I am sure everyone must have come to you and said, Rohit sir, मेरे लिए एक picture बनाओ. As a director, how difficult is it for you to say no? मैं अभी नहीं कर सकता. I have never said no to anyone. Why will I say that? You you can make only limited films. अभी सब आए तो अब. 
सब आई गए मतलब दो चार ही बचे थोड़े वो भी यूनिफॉर्म में बस दिखने वाले हैं और दो साल में सबको फोर्स में भर्ती कर दिया आपने विलन ढूंढना मुश्किल हो जाएगा सो आई थिंक आई एम ब्लेस्ड दैट वॉट यू सेट लाइक ऑल द एक्टर्स दे कम दे से दैट इट्स मोर देन एनीथिंग एल्स ना आई थिंक स्पेशली द यंगस्टर्स इट्स लाइक देव ग्रोन अप वॉचिंग गोलमाल्स एंड सिंगम्स एंड दे वॉन्ट टू डू वन ऑफ दैट काइंड ऑफ फिल्म इट्स लाइक माई सिनेमा इज लाइक दैट ईरानी चाय सब आएंगे जाएंगे वो रहेगा है ना अपना भार का वड़ा पाव वाला आई एम दैट इतना भार है ना अपना आई एम दैट कि सबको एक बार गाड़ी में जाना है बट एक बार वो खाना जरूर है सो आई एम दैट काइंड ऑफ अ गाय माई फिल्म आर लाइक दैट सो आई थिंक दैट इज द थिंग दे हैव थिंग अच्छा मैं ये भी कर लूंगा ये भी करूंगा और एक रोहित छोटी फिल्म तो जरूर करूंगा टाइप्स इट्स इन द बकेट लिस्ट बेसिकली दिस अ कॉमन क्वेश्चन फॉर एवरी वन वी ऑल आर हेयर बिकॉज वी लव सिनेमा Do you all remember the first film that you all watched on the big screen, and the film which inspired you all to enter into the profession of acting direction? For me, because my dad was in the industry, yeah. just not that one film. It was him. Yeah. It was the ambience at home, the the environment, the culture, being going to shoots. I think I, this is what I have to do. I thought so. It was never a film that inspired me. It was uh, the environment at home and my dad who inspired me to be in films and the first film that kisi ko nahi yaad rahega kisko yaad rahega pehla film you remember mummy ne kaha tha i was rangila mummy ne bola tha tujhe kahan yaad hai mummy ne kaha abhi malum hai which rangila rangila are i was this rangila mein you were a kid yeah 95 it released i was born in 94 bahut umar ho gayi yaar hum you are not allowed to watch certain content on ott rangila mein you how small i was अच्छे से नहा धो के ब्रश वश करके बट ओके कौन सी फिल्म का सबसे मतलब मेमोरी ऑफ द फिल्म लाइट यू वॉच इन दर्ली I, more than theater i remember watching it in cassettes vcr in delhi uh, you know because i the films that my mother actually chose were old little uh, you know bachan saab movies or even his comedy a comedy film like chupke chupke bahut basti thi usme or even uh, um shole was there in that cassette vhs and i i maybe now when i look back i realize that i remember once when i was like 8 10 years old uh, and we were just amongst our cousins we were playing or i think we got into a scuffle and kabhi kabhi kya hota hai aap girte ho to something yeah. happened in my nose and a slight blood was coming out so instead of i realized that time when i went to the my mom said okay go come on wash up and everything when i went to the bathroom in the mirror and i had seen those films so i was kind of more enjoying and posing first maine khun nikal ke aisa lagaya ki mujhe idhar chot lagi hai fir khun nikal ke idhar lagaya aisa pose ki chot lagi hai so then i realized ki are I'm enjoying that that you're thinking it's makeup and you you know you've had a brawl and as an 8 year 8 or 10 year old kid you're just trying to envision yourself and now when I look back I said acha that's why possibly the kida is come in because I was in you know new delhi uh, I mean your know, father was in the merchant navy no connection as such no indru to that time now you realize that acha chalo destiny had its way to bring me from delhi to bombay and then to the movies chilpa ma'am for you I never really put so much thought into it but now since you asked me I actually thought no really I I never thought about because you know I got offered a movie I never struggled for a film and I I wanted to I was just I was 16 and a half 17 at the time and extra pocket money ke liye I had got my photos done that too free because someone said that you know you have a you know you have the model type body yeah, so yeah, you know you will do well so then that that picture reached a producer's office and then he offered me a movie and the rest is history but today i realize maybe that keeda was there because uh maybe it came in from genetics i might say something right now that nobody knows but um yeah i'm going to say it nevertheless so i used to be crazy about movies i never knew where it came from but my dad who was a pilot at the time Uh, he I'll tell you one incident I don't know whether she remember she knows it or yeah. not is 
because of the Shetty connection. I think your dad has worked in one film. I was just going to say dad. that. Yeah. So my dad assisted. My dad oh. was crazy about the movies, and he assisted Rohit's dad. So Shetty uncle and oh. he were friends. So. He is in Yado ki Barat standing because he was part of the action team. So, um, and even Rafu Chakkar. Yeah. yeah. So he and I remember he was saying that Nasir Hussain Saab back in the day actually wanted to make my father a villain. So that kida came from there, maybe in his genetics, and my mom didn't want that. So then he left the line. and he got into you know small scale industries and he started business but that kida must have come from there so i remember my most favorite vcr was disco dancer and <laughs> i like it was like gold for me that was the only one cassette that i had and i would keep watching it and watching it and watching it and i was enamored by the movies and then i remember the next one i got was tezab and me dancing and and knowing every step ghisa ghisa ke i learned the steps and i knew ek do teen by heart and i would practice it in front of the mirror so i think that you know genetics definitely comes into play and um, i keep telling rohit maybe you know this was so weird maybe we were destined to work and we we were supposed to work maybe 14 years ago so he had approached me for golmal the very first one and at that time yeah you want to tell <laughs> you would have been in all the golma series can you imagine so wow. we would have worked together then but then i had just one big brother and i was traveling and then he was doing his own thing so he started the series and then it was i was so gutted because you know then when you see a brand becoming so big uh with the franchise you like oh, oh no i wish i was you know uh in the movie but there i durust hai bolte hain and better late than never after so many years we collaborated and with this amazing project and it couldn't be a better beginning than with you know the role of tara shetty wake up for you so i think for me very much like rohit bhai the environment at home the conversations with my father uh, exposure to cinema watching with your father also as an assistant yeah i know koku ji sir so i know i was an assistant so there. yeah so for me it was it was at home yaar ghar ka mahol tha and we watched a lot of films uh, we watched black and white films also uh, in those days i remember dad making me watch raj ji's films and uh, shami ji's films and dev saab's films so we used to watch all these films but for me the 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 most fun memories most amazing memories yeah. that i had of watching films was from here from mithi bai college i don't know nowadays everything's on an app book my show this that the other hum to blackiyon ke sath dosti kar lete the and last minute mein sasti ticket lene ke liye instead of black ki kahi bhi uski biki nahi to ticket kharab hone wali hai so he used to let us know wo kisi ko yahan pe apne jo sada ki dukan thi us pe phone karta tha ये सदा की दुकान नहीं है यहाँ पे बाहर द द चाय वड़ा पाव के बगल में तो यूज टू लेट अस नो एंड वी यूज टू मेक अ बंच ऑफ पीपल बिकॉज वी आर ऑल स्टूडेंट्स ऑन अ बजट सो वी यूज टू मेक अ होल बंच ऑफ पीपल एंड यहाँ से दो सौ बत्तीस की बस पकड़ते थे हम एंड वी यूज टू गेट डाउन द चंदन थिएटर एंड वी नेवर पेड फॉर टिकट्स इफ देवर ट्वेंटी ऑफ आर्स गोइंग इन वॉचिंग अ फिल्म बस टिकट में तो हम लोग शायद पाँच टिकट खरीदते थे क्योंकि यहाँ से लेके चंदन तक टी टी कितनी बार पूछेगा और किस किस को पूछेगा तो वही पांच टिकट रोटेट हो जाते थे सो वी से वी ऑल दिस क्रेजी थिंग्स बैक देन एंड देन दैट टेस्ट ऑफ दैट यू नो चंदन का समोसा आई एक्चुअली रिमेंबर वाचिंग सुभाष जी सौदागर दे वर फोर्टी ऑफ अस एंड सडनली द होल रो स्टार्टेड स्क्रीमिंग नॉट बिकॉज देर वॉज समथिंग अमेजिंग गोइंग ऑन ऑन द स्क्रीन बट देर वॉज अज चूहा दैट वेंट राइट पास दस Those were the they days. Were rarely there were ACs in the theater. No AC fans, <laughs> hanging fans. So yeah, despite all that, we used to go stand in line sometimes. We used to go to watch the movies. We used to try and get first day, first show, or watch the weekend. And then after that, the next thing would be to sit at any UDP, either the canteen or Rasraj at the back, and discuss it for hours. <laughs> मजा उसमें आता था पिक्चर देखो तीन घंटे उसके बाद कम से कम तीन घंटे का डिस्कशन है कि पिक्चर कैसे लगी कौन सा सीन कैसे लगा आई थिंक दैट होल एक्सपीरियंस 
has kept that love for cinema and love for what i do alive after 21 years in in the industry wow that सिंगल स्क्रीन में पिक्चर देखने का एक अलग ही मैजिक होता है आई थिंक अभी तो बहुत कम है बट इवन आई हैव सीन सो मेनी फिल्म्स इन चंदन एंड इट वाज मैजिकल सेड यू टेस्टेड सक्सेस ऑन द डिजिटल वर्ल्ड विद शेरशाह आई थिंक वन ऑफ द बेस्ट फिल्म दैट हैज रिलीज्ड ऑन ओटीटी देन अगेन यू डिड मिशन मजनू व्हिच वाज अगेन अप्रिशिएटेड ऑल थ्रू दिस वाइल देयर हैव बीन सो मेनी पीपल आई आई वोंट से देयर हैव बीन सो मेनी अनाउंसमेंट व्हिच हैव बीन मेड बट यू हैव ऑलवेज स्टेड काम and secure okay i'll i'll do things my way i don't want to be in the race what gives you the security as an actor to you know stay calm and do things as you have planned rather than just jumping the gun and being in the i think it's uh, after i mean it's been almost 11 years now so after the first few years you realize that eventually it's what you bring bring on screen and the chatter before and after that it's I mean, chatter before is not really relevant. I mean, because you can build up how, how much you want. You could be screaming and shouting, "I've got this, this, this." Together, this is what I can do. I believe in showing what one can do, uh, and there is a sense of confidence. There is a sense of security that there is something that you know one brings to the table, which you know lends itself to a larger screen, lends itself to a particular tonality of action. So I think it's stemming from uh, certain learnings in the initial years, um, cert- something from my background and upbringing as well. If you have to do your work, stay focused on that. Then uh, you know not, you don't have to worry about other things. If your work is good, if your performance, what you're doing in front of the on front of the screen, in front of the camera, uh, if you're in tandem with your directors, um, that's all that matters. I think it's to me to build up uh, a certain PR or an aura before. um i find it much better to eventually come up with that content and get that response so that surprise value um so yeah band mutti is uh, more stronger yeah because you have taken time to select your scripts you do do it your way basically i've never seen you just go on a rampage i mean yeah i just said i think uh, in the initial years i'm like your first film chooses you i think then after that also certain years you take a while to understand as to what is working for you for me in my filmography from say an equivalent to even a kapoor and sons or um, uh, you know even recent shersha they have very different tonalities they've had a tougher and a softer side yeah. to them even hasi to pasi in the second film had a very softer side so there is a variety of one uh, i can choose from so i've been lucky in that sense that whether i want to do a love story or an action film uh, there is something that i can fit into both uh but it's eventually wanting to do stuff which really like you feel for i think the big difference with shersha was that i the moment i heard that script it took 5 years to get made but that sense of dedication or that passion for it never you know died down um so that shows on the big screen so i think maybe subconsciously one as an actor you're trying to repeat that that sense of passion ki yaar yehi kar raha hai and then to aapko result bhi utna hi milega So that's the attempt, but um, yeah, correct. I think there's no right or wrong way in this industry. I don't think anybody has all the answers. So you eventually have to, you know, pave your own road and make your own decisions. Yeah. Absolutely. Rohit sir, IPF. The trailer of IPF reads the new cop universe. Rohit, sorry, Rohit Shetty's cop universe. Is this a new cop universe that you are creating for the digital world, or is it going to merge with? the theatrical cop universe that you have with singam simba suryavanshi and many more which are being added let's see how it goes i won't tell my plans right now ye bhi band mutthi hai bhai kar ha full but this is a season 1 so you will be making ye to clearly likha hua hai that this is the so you will be making multiple more seasons at least over here karna hi padega abhi Right so next up for you you are also shooting for Singam I think everyone over here is a Singam fan Jo log ye video dekhenge wo log bhi Singam fan hai can you tell us something on Singam Ban mutti rakh ke kuch chhota sa There's nothing to hide about Singam you know who all are there in the film I can't tell you the story of, of that course, film yeah. it's quite interesting and it's again like a big scale action film entertaining and it's again for the singam fans because technically you don't realize because singam uh, 
has done a cameo in uh, Simba and in Suryo Vanshi. But the last Singam came when if it releases in 24. Now yeah. it will be 10 years. Yeah. The character, yeah. yeah. The 2000 character is such pop, so popular. That's all. That's all. Okay. Now, this, 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 this. अब तो इतना इतना सा इतना हो गया होगा मैं सिंगम आके नकेला देखने गया था अच्छा देखने गया था अच्छा सिंगम रिटर्न्स वाज 2014 एंड वन वन वाज 2011 तभी तो ये डायपर में था इसीलिए तो इसके लिए मैंने लिटिल सिंगम भी शुरू किया है मैंने दोनों टेटर में देखी है सो आई एम ऑल ओवर आई एम डूइंग एनिमेशन आई एम डूइंग ओटीटी और कुछ बचा नहीं अभी मेरे को लगता है वो यूट्यूबर्स की तरह वहाँ भी सिंगम डाल दूंगा आई एम ह्यूज सिंगम फैन एंड आई वॉज लकी वन डे वी हैड द टाइम एंड ही वॉज इन अ मूड एंड ही शेड सम अमेजिंग सीन्स फ्रॉम द सिंगम दैट्स कमिंग सिंगम थ्री आई ब्लू माई माइंड सो आई थिंक वॉट एवर यू सीन इन द इंटायर कॉप वर्स सीरीज ऑफ फिल्म अंटिल नाउ कंट्रोल होता है अच्छा सीन नहीं बता देना नहीं नहीं सीन नहीं मैं कह रहा हूँ कि द स्केल एंड द स्केल एंड द हाई इज ऑन अनदर लेवल एंड बीइंग अ ह्यूज अजय देवगन फैन आई एम सो हैप्पी फॉर हिम सो हैप्पी हिम सो एक्साइटेड लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड मैम वेरी एक्साइटेड no one more question after before we move on to a quiz uh, rohit sir on coffee with karan you said that there are two people who are unaffected by success and failure salman khan and ajay devgan dono kuch bhi ho vanity van ke bahar aake baithe rehte hai this is a common question to everyone how do you all deal with success and failure hmm. i think for both of us it won't affect it's been so many years now like we've seen everything so humko kya farak padega abhi na Obviously, when you worked hard on something and it's not worked, you feel uh, arey yar. And then, but more than that, it's like you need to analyze where we went wrong yeah. and move. Yeah. You know, and learn from it and just move forward. I think that's how I take it. Well, sorry, should I take it? Yeah, please. I, I for one, I think um, for my own sanity, I can be attached to a project only for a certain time. like it's like it's like delivering a child so the minute that child is out then it comes with that destiny you know um yeah i think i want to i this is how i have been and i want to continue to be like this and i think with every passing day it's making me better at the craft of living in the moment so to have that power and awareness to be living in the moment is extremely important you could be from the movies you can be in business things will be successful things can go wrong but you have to live in that moment and you have to learn from it and then move on you know so i'll be the same if i'll be happy maybe a little happier but then i move on to the next thing you know if it doesn't work so yeah nothing is nothing yes i would be unhappy if people felt that i've not put in enough effort you know i know when i leave a project i've put in my best so that's what makes me happy that's it thank you yaar love you too <laughs> said for you i think i always say this it it takes the same amount of mehnat to make a film which doesn't work i think as actors filmmakers directors on set no one's making a film for it not to be watched by a maximum number of people utni mehnat lagti hai har film mein so the process of shooting is is pretty much with the same intensity where you're you trying to give your best and the best of choices because i think in filmmaking it's all about choosing how a scene should be done choosing what you know particular things to put or dialogues or everything um so once you're happy with that product i think or once you're satisfied on that days as an actor as a director i think you know those days where you sleep aram se uh you know i aaj humne kuch interesting kiya aaj humne kuch we pushed our limits uh i think that's the best that i look for now in the initial years of course it took me a couple of years to understand the business aspect of it as to uh you know where all it you know films can reach and what is the maximum like i didn't understand an equivalent what an opening number was you know we didn't we never uh, thought or calculated like that we all wanted the film to be just you know ki dekh le lo um and then you realize that yaar acha aisa bhi hota hai uh 
but then now I think with age, as as the senior lot here are saying, I think it it all you have to have a learn learning curve, and you have to I think just just each day counts on set. Yeah, you work hard, and eventually success failure. Kisi ko nahi pata. The best of the trade pundits or anybody else cannot predict a script how it will look eventually on the big screen. Um, you know, lots changes between those words on paper and what you see on screen. So I think that magic in between is something is very thrilling at times. Um, something sometimes is disappointing at times, but that's how life is. That anybody in any other profession that whatever these uh, you know students pick will face it in in all profession. I think we are the only profession I guess where it becomes so public. Our good days and bad days at office are seen by everyone. Uh, but uh, no complaints, I think, because uh, when the good days come, it kind of makes up for all the bad days. Absolutely. And Vivek, sir, for you. Oh, man, I look at it a little differently. I believe that if you're driving on the road of life, on the road of your career, your success and your failure always has to be in your rearview mirror. It can't be in front of you. Because then you can't get anywhere. You can't live in your success. You can't live in your failure. It's done. I gave company 20 years ago. I celebrated that success. I gave many flops, maybe 10, 15 years ago. I felt that failure, but it's done. It has nothing to do with the choices I make today and what I'm going to do with my life tomorrow. <laughs> so now we have a quiz which is Thank you. Yeah yeah that's what Kiara also just told him when he came. Just reminding you guys. <laughs> So now we have a cop quiz wherein I'll give you a hint of a of the plot or anything related to that film. You have to guess the film and just ne guess kya usko wo film ke baare mein memory deni hai. Humko kuch nahi milega sab hum hi de rahe hain. Ye acha hai. Acha theek hai. Theek hai. The first one. Bichi bhai ka bada pao to khila de gift mein. Done. Theek hai the first one. The 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 era of angry young man started with this. Ranjit. Ranjit. Memory with Sanjeev. That was first film. I'll tell you the history of that film because uh, uh, because of my dad I know this. Is all the heroes of that era rejected the film. Mm. And uh, I mean, Dev Saab, Rajkumar, Devanand, everybody rejected that film because there were no songs in the film. There is no romantic track in the film. Yeah. If you see there are just two songs. Uh, one is with uh, that Yari Hai, Iman Mera. That and then one more song of Jayaji. So, and it was a very raw film for those days. Everybody rejected. And then came Mr. Bachchan. Uh, they signed Mr. Bachchan uh, because... And uh, they took a risk because even he had given 13 flops by then. And, yeah. And then Zanjeer happened. Yeah. And the rest is history. The rest is history. Yeah. And like if you... Huh, what happened? Huh? You are very excited, excited for Singham again. Singham again, you are excited to watch. Let me make, I am leaving tomorrow again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Huh. Yeah. You were saying something, I think. No, and the if you see, we all get inspired or copy uh, Zanjeer. You know, anybody who is making a cop movie, the scene, if you, I don't know, all our kids will have seen the film or not. Where he kills the kid. He gives a different version of Singham. Mein FIR yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that's a Bible for cop movies. The next one, this is a cop film which is favorite for an entire generation that grew up in the 90s. Made by a debutant, the film chronicles the journey of a special action team on a mission to bust an arms trafficking racket. Sir Farosh. Yes. Oh, well <laughs> Really good film. Yeah. John Matthew yeah, yeah. Mathan. Yeah. Yes. Not bad. Yeah. Mm. And your memories with Sir Farosh? Um, I remember. Are, are what you sure? 90s, sir. 1990, 1999. 
मेकिंग या रिलीज रिलीज ओके 2000 वाज मेला उसके पहले सरफरोश था भाई होमवर्क करके आया हो तैयारी करके आया हो उसको मालूम था कि आज मैं रोहित शेट्टी से मिलने वाला हूँ <laughs> कोई भी सवाल उड़ते हुए तीर की तरह आ सकता है तब तुम तो कितने से थे पांच साल अच्छा इतने साल वेरी गुड पता चले हम पे केस हो गया बच्चे से काम कराने साइड लेवल Memories. Uh, it was a superb film. There was a great song in it with Sonali Bendre looking incredible, and uh, all of us went to see that song more than the film, because in those days there was not so much of um, social media or virality. You would hear songs, you would see songs, and you'd be like, "Ye picture dekhni hai." Songs used to be a big driver whether you wanted to go see a film or not. uh so we went to see the song and then loved the film it was totally blown by the film ki itni achhi picture banayi hai and uh, it was the first time that somebody did that subject yeah. and amir sir was amazing in the film absolutely it's too good like the, even the twist towards the end it's outstanding okay <laughs> love you too bro <laughs> okay the next one an undercover cop on a mission to clean the drug racket in mumbai the mission goes personal when the father is killed by the goons towards the climax wanted wanted wanted, wanted. yeah oh wow any memories yeah. anyone has with kya hai bro rohit chetty in heart are yaar i love you man Any memories with wanted? Anyone has? Wanted? I'll tell you what. I made singer because of wanted. What? Yeah. Achha. Because that was a. Fa- I'll tell you honestly. That was a phase when multiplex had come in. Everybody was doing romantic films. Karan Johar, Adi Chopra, and every every second hero or every second wo- director wanted to make those kind of films. Yeah. You know, and it was I think 2008 or 2009. I was making all the best. Yeah. I'll tell you. Yeah, 2009. If I'm not wrong. Yeah, nine was wanted. Yeah. Yeah, 2009. PVR had just opened up, new, and I went to see that film. And I don't know why that film was adult. Yeah, it was A rated. It was yeah. A rated. Yeah. तू बच्चा है मैं तेरे को सब बताता हूँ. पर मैंने वो थिएटर में देखी थी बच्चा ओके भी. It's a remake. Remake of Pokeri. Huh? It's a remake. By yeah. the way, Mahesh yeah, Babu yeah, had done that yeah, film. Yeah, Pokeri, Pokeri, Pokeri ki remake hai wo. And uh, so, and that time no was nobody was making mass action films. and wanted was one under dog which came and uh, i went in the theater and i could see kids like these at pvr and they were whistling and clapping and i was like the time has come back to make mass entertainer because even abhi multiplex mein bhi seatiyan aur taaliyan bajne lagi hai and then we made singam in 2011 wow you caught the trend before anyone else okay next one the entire police department is helpless and that's when they find a ray of hope in this cop who decides to take down the system in the most fearless way wo to har cop karta hai yeah it's the singam singam ki baat kar raha hai ha oh acha oh acha singam main lion hearted pehle use karne wala tha but then thought that would give it away easy so you would have done this also kal shilpa ne kiya na aisa aisa singam memory i won't ask from you from you the singam memories I think Singam memory a the the title track also that comes to mind he's the the BG the background score yeah. the sound of an action film in Hindi cinema is started by Mr Rohit Shetty you know every you know film would have a theme to it even uh, Indian police force has a particular theme to it which we don't see much of in, in Hindi these very few sequels and prequels have become so successful that their sound has become very famous yeah. so I think uh, that's the memory that comes to me uh, when i think of singam of course after the film and the action and the drama of it yeah. but i think the sound catches on it still stays yeah. you know what blew my mind about singam was i'd seen the original yeah. i'd seen the one with surya in tamil hmm. and when i saw singam in hindi what blew my mind was that even though the spirit of the film was the same so many things had been changed and evolved and like made tighter or better and ajay sir the way he came across in that film man when i saw him walking in slow motion in that uniform and i'll tell you what is that is what conviction is all about uh we made uh, golmal 3 
we were making bolbachan and then chennai express singam was not there in the pipeline at all okay and uh, suddenly uh, reliance uh, they came to uh, me with a dvd that we have f- produced a film in uh, tamil and if you want to see this film we want to do something else with you but this is one film what we have made <coughs> and i just uh, golmal 3 promotion was happening uh, after the release uh, so that one day i saw that film and i was like yeah iska basic character like if we change we can make a good action film like when i thought of okay after wanted that i can make a mass film now yeah. so i narrated that script to, basic idea to ajay ke i saw a film and we can do this and he was like ye tu kabhi banayega i said ke abhi jo 4 and a half months free hai na usme bana dete hain he was going to london for some film no way yeah so i said that it was october november when we decided he went shot started shooting there he started because he had beard in that film i forgot son of sardar nahi nahi bahut pehle ki baat hai i think tez or something like that so he was growing his beard and mustache as well so when aap khali shave kar dena body banana shuru kar do he don't know what the script he didn't knew what the script is we went to goa in march we started shooting the film he landed up in goa at 8 o'clock in the night did his hair cut and everything mustache mustache look singam fit 10 o'clock in the night he started narration that is the time he came to know at 2 in the night that what the film is 7 o'clock ship he started shooting unbelievable man and july release so that was his conviction and july mein release teen mahine in for four and a half months, months. yeah, yeah. I know this story because I told her. I said, "Who comes on a horse like this one month before and offers me such a great part? At least give me a little time." And then he narrated this story to me. I said, "Okay." <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's Rohit Shetty for you. Okay, next one. Uh, इसके बाद जितनी भी कॉफ़ी फिल्में मेरी हैं. नहीं है. बचा क्या है? दबंग एक पूछेगा ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा. दो और हैं. तीन हैं. अर्धसत्य पूछ लेगा. गैस करते हैं वो तेरे पिछले जन्म की है <laughs> वो मैंने नहीं था <laughs> उसमें विलन शेट्टी था ओके द नेक्स्ट वन द रिवाइवल ऑफ कैरेक्टर्स वेयरिंग खाकी वर्दी ऑन स्क्रीन इन द मॉडर्न टाइम्स स्टार्टेड विद दिस फिल्म द कॉप ओवर हियर हैड शेड्स ऑफ ग्रे एंड इट बिकेम अ कल्ट इमीडिएटली ऑन रिलीज खाकी ओनली व्हाट इज दैट नो द कॉप हियर हैड शेड्स ऑफ ग्रे या सिम्बा नो दबंग या Dabang. 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 <laughs> he had shades. Chulbul Pandey was grey. Yeah, Dabang. In the first Dabang. Yeah. Any memories with the film? Hold, hold, Dabang. Dabang song, Dabang, man. Dabang, Dabang. <laughs> That's the memory. <laughs> that song was epic. Yeah. Yeah, that song. I think every song in that film was a yeah. rage yeah. back then. First Dabang. Yeah. Even that dialogue of Sunakshi's. In sunglasses, sunglasses, in sunglasses at the back. The yeah, yeah, correct. Sunglasses at the back. Of yeah. The back. Too good. Okay, last two. He does what he says. That's a rule. But he's unpredictable. Rowdy Rathod. Rowdy Rathod. जो मैं बोलता हूँ वो मैं करता हूँ. जो मैं नहीं कर नहीं बोलता हूँ वो मैं जरूर करता हूँ. What is it? You know the. I definitely get it. The original Rowdy yeah. was directed by Rajamouli. 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 Yeah. No way. Yeah. Vikram Akudu, I think. Yeah. yeah. फिल्मीप make fun of uh, matlab not fun like we laugh on this is uh, there was a film jab tera do janam pehle <laughs> black and white ke zamane mein china town when where shami kapoor plays two character yeah. one is a one is a underworld smuggler he dies and a cop comes yeah. and plays like a smuggler like jaise don mein tha yeah. and there is one man who says ke ye wo aadmi nahi hai because he makes the shoes yeah. uh, he is a shoe maker who's a underworld guy that character was played by my dad and he says ke nahi because he is not the same guy because uska ek pair 9 hai aur ek pair 10 hai theek hai then they met kali charan kali charan again one man comes and says ke ye prabhakar nahi ye kali charan that is again my dad in <laughs> kali charan they use the shoes ka track in yado ki barat yeah ke ek 9 aur ek 10 hai again my dad was there <laughs> then he comes again one guy comes sitting in the jail ke ye don nahi hai Again, my dad. 
सो दैट इज अ थिंग इन अ हाउस लाइक दो विलन का दो हीरो का पर्दाफाश करने के लिए शेट्टी आता है सिंस फॉर ट्वेंटी इयर्स ही वॉज डूइंग दैट ओनली ये कालीचरण नहीं है ये डॉन नहीं है ये प्रभाकर नहीं है There was one more Dharamji film also. I think Yakin, which had double role. Tha and yeah, Yakin also he does, comes and he says the same thing. <laughs> Because in that he has that contact lenses and all that. See, I have seen a film before my generation. Yeah, yeah. You should. <laughs> yeah, I watch all of them. I mean, you know how many people copy them. वो देख के पता चलता है जब पुरानी फिल्म्स देखते हैं यू गेट एन आइडिया. But thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, Siddharth. Thank you, Shilpa, ma'am. Thank you, Rohit sir. Thank you, Vivek sir. <laughs>